Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm sharing my September book haul. So these are all of the books I've accumulated over the recent weeks and I just totaled them up. There are 20 books all in all and they're mostly horror with a few other things thrown in. And first up are these two books that I bought secondhand online. These are books one and two in the Witches series which is a rather <laughs> lurid looking series. It's from the UK, uh, published by Sphere. And I first heard about this when I was recently reading A Nest of Nightmares by Lisa Tuttle. I'll link my review video to that below if you haven't seen it already. But that's an excellent short story collection and it was originally published in the UK by Sphere. And in the back of the book, as you did back in the day, you would have adverts for other books by that publisher and this was in the back. I'd never heard of it before so I googled it and I was like, okay, I need these in my life. So I pretended for a little while that I was just going to put it on the ever-growing wish list and not actually buy them, but then I bought them. So. Anyway, I bought books one and two from one seller online and I also bought book three from another seller but that one hasn't turned up yet. The series is by James Dark which is a pseudonym for Lawrence James. I wasn't familiar with him but it seems like he was a fairly prolific science fiction writer and had various pen names and anyway this Witches series I believe there are eight books in total. So here we have book one, The Prisoner and book two, The Trial, and this one, it describes it as a savage new series of devilry and lust. And as you can probably tell from the covers, I think these are going to be fairly trashy and sleazy, and <laughs> I can't wait. I'm guessing this is going to be something like the film Witchfinder General, but with more sleaze. So we will see. And it says in the corner, it's a Sphere adult series. So I'm not entirely sure how adult we're talking here, but I'll give these a go and <laughs> report back. The next bunch of books are from various library book sales that I've been to this month. And the next few, I think, were a dollar each. I got The Unborn by David Chauvin. This is an early 80s novel somewhat Rosemary's Baby-esque, but I think it's quite science heavy as well. I'm not entirely sure, but I couldn't resist this cover. Next up is a 90s YA novel. This is Running Scared by Kate Daniel. Again, couldn't resist the cover. And this is about a girl who has witnessed some kind of crime and she's now in a witness protection program, but it seems that someone has figured out who she is and about her past and is now coming after her. I got The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn. This is just a short a novella and I have read this one before but it was some time ago but I do remember enjoying it and when I saw this for just a dollar I figured I'd pick it up because I'd quite like to reread it. I also got Mine by Robert McCammon. This is about a baby who is stolen by another woman and I think it involves the FBI as well, trying to track her down. That's really all I know about this one, but it sounds really good. Next up is The Basement by Barry Wood. This is about a woman who has some creepy goings on in her house and she finds out that centuries ago someone was hanged for witchcraft on her land and she suspects that that is what is haunting her. The next two are ones that my husband actually picked up for me. He called into a Goodwill somewhere and had a quick look at the books because I think they were having a sale. They were either 50 cents or 25 cents each so he grabbed me a couple that he thought I might like. First up is Crooked House by Thomas F. Monteleone and John DeChancey. Yeah, he definitely scored with this one. It's a great cover. Not one I'd heard of before, but it was published by Tor in the 80s. And it's also signed by one of the authors, John DeChancey. 
says Judy, Pleasant Dreams, John, February 24th, 1988. So that was a really cool find. And this one sounds a bit strange. It's about a place called Picadon, Picadon, which has like stairways that lead nowhere and it's haunted by ghosts, which makes me think of the Winchester Mystery House. And then there's also something to do with an atomic blast. So, so yeah, it sounds like a pretty wacky combination. The other one he got me is Ghost Dance by Mark T. Sullivan. I hadn't heard of this author before. I looked it up online and I think this might be more of a mystery. And it's about a documentary filmmaker who moves to Vermont for a fresh start, as they always do and there's um, a policewoman that is in the same area. I think they come together somehow because of some murders that have happened in the area. Yeah, let me know if you've read this one or anything else by this author, because I really have no idea about his work. Okay, the next bunch are from another library book sale, and these ones were 50 cents each, so a little bit cheaper than the other sales. And first up is The Night of the Moonbow by Thomas Tryon. I was really excited to find this one because I really enjoyed Harvest Home by the same author and I'm planning on reading the other by him sometime soon. So yeah, I was glad to find another of his novels. This one is set at a Bible camp in the woods during the summer and I don't know too much more about it other than that. So I'm getting the burning, Friday the 13th, sleepaway camp, etc. vibes from this. So I'm looking forward to giving this one a go. Next up is The Bottoms by Jo Art Lansdale. I think this is maybe more of a mystery suspense story about a young boy who finds a body and it might be something of a coming of age tale as well, I'm not entirely sure, but I hear great things about his work and I haven't read anything by him yet, so hopefully this is a good place to start. I got Replay by Ken Grimwood. This is a time travel story, or I think about a character who is able to kind of live his life over and over again, and it says it won a, let's see, a World Fantasy Award in 1988. Um, I don't remember where I'd first stumbled upon this, but I know I've had it in my ongoing wish list for quite some time and I was really surprised to actually stumble upon it in real life in amongst all these books at a library book sale, so I had to grab it. So yeah, this one sounds like a bit different from my usual kind of thing, but it sounds really intriguing and I've heard really good things about it. Okay, the next two are also a little bit different. Typically, the books I buy are books I do want to read. Like, I don't, you know, buy stuff completely willy-nilly. The only problem is I buy them a lot faster than I can read them. But, admittedly, every once in a while, I will buy something that, deep down, I know I'm probably never going to read. And I buy it anyway, and the next two are kind of fitting in that category, but they were only 50 cents each, so why not? And first up is this beauty, I couldn't resist this cover, it is Moonstruck Madness by Laurie McBain. If you couldn't tell, this is a gothic romance. This one is apparently set in Scotland, and if you're wondering where's the house she's running away from, because all of the ladies on Gothic romance covers are running away from some house or castle and wait for it, there it is. It's just a wraparound cover. So yeah, she's still totally running away from a house. And the other one is also romance. It's called Silhouette Shadows. I was just really intrigued by this cover and it says three romantic stories from the dark side of love. So I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it sounded intriguing enough for me to pick it up. The authors in here are Anne Stewart, Helen R. Myers, and Heather Graham Possesseri. So yeah, um, looks like the titles of the stories inside are The Monster in the Closet, Sea Witch, and Wild Imaginings. So 
yeah don't know when or if I'm actually going to read this but I'm kind of intrigued okay next up from the same sale are a few kids books and these ones were only 25 cents each and they're three books from a series called Creepover and I just couldn't resist like the title and the covers these are middle grade and it says on the back for ages 8 to 12 and typically when I do read like kids or teen YA books you know I like to go back to the point horror era of 80s and 90s whereas these are really recent ones I think these are from like 2011 2012 but I just thought they were too adorable to pass up so first up is book one truth or dare book two you can't come in here and randomly book nine no trick or treating which unfortunately is a bit bent but I'll figure it out and this one says it's a super scary super special a story so scary it broke the creepometer so yeah but look at this adorable cover it was too cute to pass up and also I just love the title of the series creepover that's pretty cool and the author is PJ Knight which is also just a brilliant what I can only assume is a pen name but PJs, nights, sleepovers, yeah it's all going on so yeah maybe I will get to read some of these during October in the run up to Halloween that might be fun um, but yeah I've never heard of this series before but it looked really cute and let me know if you read any of these okay there was one more library book sale I got one book at this one and it was two dollars so I totally splashed out it is Nights at the Circus by Angela Carter she's an author that I always hear great things about and for whatever reason I just still haven't read anything by her I know this one is one of her more famous ones and yeah this edition was really pretty and in really good condition so I thought I would grab it and last but certainly not least are two books that were actually sent to me by the publisher Capricorn Literary they were very kind to send me The Devil's End by D.A. Fowler and also Deliver Us From Evil by Alan Lee Harris so Capricorn Literary are a company who are reissuing a bunch of out of print horror titles and I read another book by D.A. Fowler earlier this year called What's Wrong with Valerie which I thoroughly enjoyed and I've really wanted to read more of her work but her books are out of print, a little bit hard to come by and they can get a little bit pricey but recently I saw that Capricorn Literary were advertising that they were going to be releasing this one they said they would be happy to send me a copy so that was really awesome and I was yeah really grateful that they would do that and this one is actually set around Halloween so I know what I'm going to be reading in October and they also said they'd like to send me a copy of Deliver Us From Evil by Alan Lee Harris which is one I hadn't heard about but I read the premise and I was like yes please do send me a copy of that I'd love to read it this one is set in the backwoods of Georgia and there's something called the snake well which already sounds terrifying and it involves some kind of ancient evil and ritual torture so yeah sounds good to me I will leave a link to Capricorn Literary in the description below if you want to go check them out so those are all of the books I acquired in September can't believe it's almost October we're getting closer to Halloween which is always exciting let me know if you've read any of these books I'd love to hear what you thought thank you ever so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video bye